as we mentioned with Alexander Popov, Michael Klim's world record time is in a different league to what the other guys have swum. And the pressure to a certain extent would be off him. He's got a yep. gold medal. Sure. Nice time to race. Now the European champion, the world short course champion. And he beat Hugo at the short course championships, Lars Brolander of Sweden. He's had a, a bit of a mixed bag, Lars. He's, he's swimming very well and he's a great talent and athlete, but he, he jumped in the 4x1 freestyle relay yesterday and unfortunately the Swedes missed out, so he'll have mixed emotions going through his head and we'll want to pay something back with a good performance here. But look at the concentration on Jeff Hugel. In lane four, Jeff Hugel of Australia, a championship record this morning, 52.93. And what a credit to Ken Wood from Redcliffe League yep. Swimming Club. Fantastic job. In lane five, Frank Esposito from France. The Bron I think this actually suits Jeff Hugel, the fact that he's got a lane between Michael Klim, that they're not next to each other. Michael Klim, lane six for Australia. A world record holder. Fast approaching cult status. Jonas Kleiser from the Netherlands is across in lane seven. Set a new Dutch record this morning, 53-7-3. He's come out of nowhere. It's going to be interesting to see how long Michael Klim stays under the water on the start. This morning he stayed under longer than I've ever seen him before. I think it might have been an experiment. Peter Hovart from Hungary. Start of the day, ranked 39th in the world. So. He's come a long way. From an Australian point of view, the two keys here for Jeff Hugel is to get out hard. For Michael Klim, it's to be there with 25 metres to go. I think if Klim's in front with 20 to go, it's shut the gate. If he's not, we're in for a real showdown. Expect this to be explosive. The final of the men's 100 butterfly in Australia, represented by Hugel in lane four and Klim in lane six. Take your mark. They're set and away. Hugo drops lightly at the start, not so clear. He powered off the blocks. Esposito quickly away as well. Esposito still under the water. Hugo is up and stroking, so too Clem. Esposito could be the leader as they work down towards the wall for the first time. Esposito and Clem and Hugo just a stroke back. Michael Clem stayed down for a long time, but he looks fantastic. He is out there. Going to be tough for the rest of the boys from here. Clem goes around first. Hugo second. Esposito is third. They come back down the pool, and this crowd is roaring now. Michael Clem, a different swimmer tonight. He leads by about half a body length. Flying hard is Esposito. Hugo coming through in the centre. A chance for two medals for Australia. Clem is out by that half body length and holding. It's going to be Michael Clem. Another gold medal. I talked about a cult status. In he goes. Michael Clem decisively. Magnificent victory. Bronze for Jeff Hugo. Proland is second, Hugo gets third, and the time 52.25. A mighty swim, 52.2, just a tenth of a second outside his world record. I said he looked a little flat in the heat. Well, he certainly turned it around tonight, and he's pumped. <laughs> and the family going off as well. It's hard to say that that's the most excited I've ever seen him since it's his third gold medal, but looked like that one really meant a lot to him. I think he might have been a little bit worried after the heats this I morning. Think so. you know, like he might have been a little bit tight and thinking, where am I going to get this extra half a second from? And he got it between the six inches between his ears. I mean, that was really, really tough. Great to see Jeff Hugel get up for a bronze. Terrific. What a swim. Just the power of the man when challenged halfway back down the pool. Has a look there to his left, as you saw, and realized that he was well clear. Frolander came home like a train too, didn't he? He had a terrific swim. New territory for him, 
Let's get down to Lindley, who's talking now with Michael Clem. Another gold medal. Congratulations, another gold medal. This one looked like it meant a lot more to you. I really wanted this. I wanted to prove that my world record wasn't a fluke, and um, I'm so delighted. And it's great. <laughs> Tell us about the underwater start, because we haven't seen you going underwater that far recently. I just went with, with my internal feeling, and I, I just wanted to... I really didn't have a uh, tactic for any part of the race. I just wanted to go with my Ladies intuition. And, and, you know, I was good enough to win. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. How's the fatigue factor going? Ah, uh, I don't feel it now. <laughs> Congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you, Lindley. Rewriting the record books at the...